All right, so let's do a rapid fire review of our flashcards. Strongly recommend you make these flashcards, put as much information on the back as you can and use them to review. So this is the judicial branch and the first flashcard is simply describe Article 3. So you need to know which article is which. Article 3 is the judicial, the judicial branch. It establishes what um, kinds of cases the uh, courts will hear. It says there will be a Supreme Court. And then notably, it says that Congress has the authority to set up other courts. So the entire court system is structured by Congress, the district court, the appellate court system. It also specifies that justices will have life term. And it specifies that Congress can set up what courts the supreme what uh cases the supreme court can heal appeals for so uh what it, it doesn't have a lot of specific information about the specific operations of the court it doesn't establish judicial review that comes in marbury versus madison so judicial three of the first three articles uh, the ju article three of the first three articles is the shortest and it leaves the most up to congress if we go to the next flashcard federalist 78 Federal 78, one of the Federalist Papers, it is about the judicial branch, and it really argues that the judicial branch is the uh, the weakest of the branches, in essence. It says that the judicial branch has neither force nor will. It focuses on the fact that these, uh, therefore, because uh, they don't have the military, they don't create legislation, they only judge. Uh, because of this, they can have life term, and we want them to be impartial, but we don't have anything to fear from them. There were others who thought that justices should or judges should not have life tenure. Um, and Federal 78 actually does argue for the concept of judicial review, although that wasn't in the Constitution and not established until the case Marbury versus Madison of 1803. I would encourage you to go back and take a look at the video on the uh, nuts and bolts of this unit to get the details of the case and the facts of the case. But the fundamental outcome is it uses Article 3 uh, to justify, uh, John Marshall is Supreme Court Chief Justice, to justify the idea that the Supreme Court should have judicial review, the authority to strike down, um, to strike down laws of, of the legislative branch, or later on it gets expanded to laws of state courts or executive actions as unconstitutional. Now, the Supreme Court has both original jurisdiction and appellate jurisdiction. They can hear cases, and the, the uh, Article 3 of the Constitution specifies what cases they can hear. But most of what they do are they hear, hear appeals. And these appeals come up from the lower court system where they're reviewing the facts of the case, they're reviewing the constitutional issues in the case, and they will have uh, oral arguments and written decisions, and they'll exercise their authority of judicial review in this appeals process. Congress can change the appellate jurisdiction of the courts so they can determine what the courts have the authority to hear appeals on or not, but they cannot change the original jurisdiction of the courts. That's a key uh, point to make, is that the original jurisdiction is in Article 3. So they hear disputes between states, they hear issues of you know ambassadors or maritime jurisdiction, no, they can do that, but most of what they hear are appeals. We have <clears throat> the basic structure of the court system. We have the district courts, the appeals courts, and the Supreme Court. So district courts and appeals courts are structured by Congress. And of course, the Supreme Court is um, uh, required by the Constitution, but the Constitution doesn't specify how many judges there will be, for example. So that number can change, and it's been at nine for quite a long time. And I've already talked about judicial review and how it expands court power how it is the uh, court's ability to strike down laws as unconstitutional. So these are slides, uh, uh, flashcards one through six, and I would encourage you to go back to your notes, go back to my videos where I expand on some of these concepts in much more detail, uh, look up any information you feel you're missing, and then if you have questions, come and talk to me. What I just said is not comprehensive in that it's everything related to every concept on this list, but it's a good primer to get you started and looking in the right direction for your review.